up guys welcome back to another video and today we're talking about the bamboo p1p as you can see i have a multitude of printers and i've only been 3d printing for about a little bit over a year and a half now and i love it i think i can't i can't get enough of it and as you can see i have a crap ton of printers and i actually had more i sold one recently and it was one of my original printers is the ender 3 v2 and let's just go down the line and let's talk about the journey i took so all my enders were the v2s at the start i started with one and then i got two more and i did some upgrades to each one each one has a creality touch uh all metal extruder with a capricorn bowden tube and the one I sold had exactly that. After I got that, these were great. And I needed to be able to print more and print fast. What's up, guys? Editing Poppy here. One thing you'll notice is in that video, my index fingers were pale white. They've gone to normal now. Just want to let you know that is a phenomenon known as Raynaud's. And I am 100% healthy. I'm okay. Um, it happens when uh, I'm exposed to cold for a period of time. Uh, the capillaries in my extremities, my fingertips and toes, will constrict and pull all the blood away from the area. And that's why they're pale white like that. And it goes away within like 30, 45 minutes um, after I take my cold shower every morning. And I take cold showers knowing very well that I am naturally a uh, weak against cold um because and i'm not going to go on to all the studies of why cold showers are good for you um but i like to do it because i like to build strength in chaos and i believe cold showers are chaos that you can control which makes it worse because you can end it at any time but i like to live in that controlled chaos because it gives me strength to live in the chaos that I can't control. So the chaos is of life because life is hard, y'all. It is hard. I promise you that it is hard. And another promise, you die at the end of this thing. You die at the end of it. So why not get a little bit stronger, get a little tougher to survive in the chaos? All right. All right, I'm going to get off the cell box now. Back to the video. Faster. So I got these S1s. Um, so I had a total of five printers, and these X1, S1s, Ender S1s are great. These Sprite extruders are amazing. Um, so much better than the the V3. So much. I wouldn't even consider buying any of these anymore when you can get these S1s so cheap on, like, Facebook Marketplace and things like that. People are selling these things left and right, and maybe be, mainly because the P1P exists as well because these things retail are like around 380 but i actually got both these printers for 380 so i got a screaming deal here um but then one thing you'll notice none of these printers have any monitors on there and that's because they all run off a sonic pad which i got for 140 dollars on amazon relatively cheap and i know that sounds like a lot more money you can actually buy a printer for that amount but this thing allows your printers to run kipler and kipler is a game changer from a old marlin boy these two v2s and even these ones are old marlin kipler will increase your speeds by at least 50% if not more I would say 1.5 definitely 1.5 on ender 3 and, and s1 maybe even 2 and s1 depending on the model but for the things I print I was able to cut print speeds in half so if it took me six hours or eight hours to print it I could do it in three or four you know it's it was ridiculously so very worth it if you're printing farm making something selling something the more time it takes to print the the m less money you make so it's about i did the math about seven uh 12 cents an hour to print and that can you know if you cut that in half you just save let's say eight hours you just save 48 cents you know what i mean that that's not a lot but if you're making a lot of them then you're saving quite a bit of money so it does make sense to invest in anything that can make you print more quickly and more efficiently so 
as you can see, this one over here, one of the original Ender 3s, actually, I think this is going to be my exact first one, um, it has some changes. So, I loved how these machines work so well, and I'm going to do a video on how good this thing is, but these ones work so well, it has uh, direct drive, dual Z screws, um, it works beautifully. So, I said, well, you can upgrade an Ender 3. Uh, to do that so we've got the direct drive it's not as good looking as the s1 it's just basically taking this thing right here and then placing it right on top of your hot end which is pretty jank looking this doesn't look good but i can't believe i sold this thing it's for my brother but i just love how it looks i love just the craziness of it and I, you know i might just keep it for nostalgia who knows maybe i just make him buy his own or maybe I'll just give him one of my S1s because I really don't freaking need it anymore. I uh, I don't really need it. Mainly because the P1P is... It's the bee's knees. It's the bee's knees. And Beazle agrees. Um, let's just talk about it real quick. Um, and the reason why this thing is so much better than these two. And... For the price, it technically isn't. Because for one of these, if you're willing to haggle and go on Facebook Marketplace, offer up Craigslist, you could probably get, I wouldn't be surprised to you be able to buy three S1s with a Sonic Pad. So you can get three printers plus a Sonic Pad for one of these. And you're probably asking, is like, Poppy, why didn't you just do that? Why why did you spend um so much on one of these? So I think six ninety nine shipped everything eight hundred dollars plus I did some upgrades too, so it's a little bit more. And the reason why I bought this and why I actually bought a second one is because of this. Right here. These are days worth of benchies and you can see a lot of them look like crap all of these benchies are printed with petg and the reason why i went ahead and purchased a another p1p is because all these benchies are printed petgs on the s1s and they all came out pretty crappy. Pretty crappy. Some of them were pretty decent, but these overhangs were so bad. I spent about a lot of time. And I came down to the conclusion that the only way to print PETG well on an S1 is to go super slow. So fan speeds needs to drop below 50. So I use 40. And your your all overall speed needs to drop down to around 50 millimeters per second. And then you can print pretty clean on an S1. And what does that mean? Okay, so all that means is for something that I'm printing, like one of my products, like this half dome right here, this one um, has actually came off. This is actually PLA. This is not even PETG, but... Um, on the S1, this thing would take roughly four hours to print one of these on with PETG. And now with the P1P, you can print this thing in two hours and 20 minutes. And it comes out cleaner with the P1P. So it, it was an issue of the type of filament I was using, not necessarily the speed and accuracy. Because these things are pretty accurate and pretty speedy. But when it comes to PETG, it was worth the extra money for the P1P because it was not only faster, but it also print cleaner with PETG. So that's why I made a full switch to only running PETGs with the P1P. And the reason why I have a second one, because it's a whole weekend trying to configure those S1 Pros or S1s to print PETG well. Look at this thing. Look at this hot mess express. 
it it's just it's just not worth my time, you know, and time is money. Okay? I spent a whole weekend trying to configure these two printers out to print half as good as this thing. And so that's why your boy broke the bank. I hope this does not come off as a flex video. I hope this comes off as a video to inform you that if you are printing in PETG, you should use a P1P, especially if you are selling the items you're printing. Because if you're not selling items and you're doing hobby stuff, there's nothing wrong with an S1. You should get S1 with a Creality pad and get these uh, less than around $200, $150, $350. Boom. You got a great, amazing printer. Um, but you're printing and you want to print fast and you want to print clean. Double that. Get a P1P. It's definitely worth it. All I'm saying is PETG is a mother freaker to freaking print. And it's always been a problem for me on my enders. Um, and it's mainly, I always try to get them to print as quickly as possible. But when you print quickly, they tend to, it, these things tend to fall apart. Even with Kipler. Kipler is great. It is amazing. This Sonic Pad is amazing. This thing changed. This is a game changer. Game changer. Game changer. For, uh, uh, I'm a novice printer. I'm not like any of those other 3d printing channels they all understand octopi and all this crap me just don't have enough capacity in my brain for that but if you do have an ender you got to get a sonic pad i don't care what anyone says sonic pad if you're going to stick with the ender um and it's talking about what i'm going to stick with in the future obviously probably more than like for sure that one's gone down there i might just keep this one for nostalgia purposes because like um I don't know. I just like looking at it. It's so janky looking. I just love the jankness of it. And just and I know that I, you know, it just looks. It does not print as good. It's not that great, but I just love how janky it looks. And I, I just I'm excited about how janky it is. Um. Secondly, um, I think I am gonna keep these two S ones. Um, and the back burner, um, the P one Ps are gonna be printing full time. Um products full-time these things are just going to be running 24 7 um printing all the products i do for my company um and then these two are just gonna these technically these three are just gonna hang out they're not gonna be printing anything right now and i might end up getting rid of them um if anything maybe one s1 and i'll just keep those these two um the ender v2 and one of the s1s just for like nostalgia or just like if i want to print something in pla and these ones are, are busy printing something but i doubt that's going to happen because these things print pretty pretty freaking fast but i don't know i don't know i just wanted to share uh with you guys what i'm doing other than my um other than my uh other stuff the top what come on now so you can get it out other than my uh steam deck stuff and here's some fun stuff here let's let's go on a little bit of field trip uh got something special right here as a sneak peek ROG Ally. So this is not mine. This is a buddy of mine's. He's loaned it to me and he has said it's okay for me to use it for videos and to tinker with it. So stay tuned.